don't know how that cow pie got back there, but uh, that means that the cows must be walking in and out of here. It's not a very good thing. They could get kind of messed up on those tines. But uh, this is this is the old timer's uh, cultivator. Um, this is what he used for many years when he farmed and then obviously retired. And then we had this hooked to the uh, 1586. And then uh, it's been sitting here ever since. And I think you pronounce this brand. Um, Glencoe, I think that's how you pronounce it, Glencoe, whatever the hell that is, um, but I don't know if these are, I'm confused of where it's built at because they got two different names here, they have a Glencoe, Minnesota, and then a Bloom, Bloom, I can't, I can't even see that. Bloomington, yeah, I think that's Bloomington, Illinois, I think that is. So I'm not really sure where this thing's built. But then over here, it's got US and Canadian part numbers right here. I don't know what they're for. I don't know if you just need certain parts, I guess, or maybe bearings or bushings. Um, but yeah. So it's gonna need new hydraulic hoses, I think, because these are they're pretty dry a lot, and they're getting kind of hard. Um, and then uh, this is the tire that the young guy replaced quite a few years ago. That last time we used it, still holding air. This is the outside. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, guide wheel or gauge wheel or whatever and that one's still holding pretty good surprisingly but here's where you can fold it up uh forget now right here this is your hinge point so i think i would just if you see it here fold up those wings and that's how much shorter it would be i think this will be our new uh, tillage tool for the trail most likely not for the garden, but for the trail. Um, Cause it's got hydraulics on it and whatever. So, yeah. And if I really wanted to shorten it down, I guess I could get stupid crazy. And basically just, I wouldn't lose much, I guess, by just cutting it here, you know, an extra, couple tines you would lose which would probably make it even shorter if you really wanted to modify it i guess but this is the tire that blew up i guess a couple years ago or something when while it was sitting it literally just grenaded so that's junk and this is the other wheel this is the one that leaks all the time and you can see it's off the bead it's got a tube in it so i'll probably just put a new tube in it and it'll be and it'll be like new again. Not, I have never figured out why this piece of wood was here. But it's always been here. Um, so, yeah, you guys tell me, but I think it'll be the new tillage tool. Uh, maybe next year. I'll talk to the young guy again next year. It's too late this year to worry about it. Maybe next year. I found a good used tire. I think that'll fit on there. It's about the same as what that is. So I'll put that used tire on, put a new tube in this, and then new hydraulic hoses, and I think this thing will be pretty slick. Fuck, you probably could almost uh, plant grain with it, but we don't have a the old drill that we have. It's steel wheels, and that thing's not going to do much. So... Yeah, it'll need some work, but 
the main thing is it's got hydraulics on it and uh up and down and this is you can control how deep it goes with that looks like the cylinder starting to the pit i don't know how you would clean that up i imagine some kind of a shop would do it but i'm not taking it to a shop just for that so i think for the amount that we're going to use it it'll be fine it'll clean itself off but uh, yeah you guys tell me what you think A little bit of greasing and and she'll be like new again there's a grease stick right here and she hasn't been greased in years you can tell that but yeah i'm going to fold the wings up make it a little bit smaller um put a new tire on it or another used one get a tube put it in this guy and get it back on the bead or yeah or, yeah back on the rim and be done with it so you guys tell me should we bring it back to life or what? It won't be probably until next year, but um, this year is pretty much done and I got other things I got to get done. But this is a future project, but you guys tell me. But she's been hooked to the 15 at least once, so I don't know what style. I don't know what style of ends it has. I think they're international. Um it's got two different kind though it's got this kind see how it's got the ball on it and then the other one has more of a point to it there's still hydraulic oil in this thing too uh, where is it yeah and that one has the point on it so i don't know i don't know if that says international on it or It looks like it says international, yeah? Yeah, it says International Harvester on this one, but the other one, I don't know. Because I remember when the old timer used to use these things, he would just hook up and go. He never had to put any, he didn't have to put any adapters on or anything or change these out. Because he mostly always ran it on his, on his 986. So... But if you ever want to hook this up to a John Deere or something, then you have to put adapters on or change those fittings out. But yeah. So yeah, you guys tell me, should we fire this baby back up and use it as a trails trail worker? Or, well, they'll do it more now. They'll probably be working up spots in the field too, the hay field. It'd be a lot bigger for that job, but I don't know. And the guys, I'm going to take off. I'm doing stuff with my grandma right now, and I want to get done before the sun hits the goes on the other side of the planet. So, but you tell me, yes or no? And the guys, I'm going to take off. So I guess have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.